In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria, understand the probability on a scale from 0 to 1, and use probabilities to compare the likelihood of events. You can locate the questions on the mathmaths.com website under level 1. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculated questions, and then we'll move to the calculated questions. Here is the first one. This scale shows the probability that something will happen. What probability does the scale show? So we've got the number line or the scale going from 0 to 1. Halfway through will be 0 0.5. Halfway between 0 0.5 and 1 will be 0 0.75. So that is likely. So 0 0.5 is 50-50. Zero is impossible. One is certain. So 100% it's going to happen. This one here is likely. So chances of it happening are greater than it not happening. Because 0 0.75 is 75%. And this is unlikely. So that 25%, which means that chances of it not happening are greater than of it happening. So to answer the question again, this is likely. You volunteer at the Highfield Nature Reserve. There are a total of 10 volunteers at the reserve. Every day, a name is drawn at random to see who will refill the bird feed list. On the scale below, mark an X to indicate the probability that you will be drawn to refill the bird feeders on a single day. So you are a volunteer, and there are 10 volunteers in total, so that is 1 out of 10. We've got 10 divisions in total from 0 to 1, so probability of you being picked is shown here. At this point, that's 0 0.1 or 10 percent. You are a driver for Highfield Delivery Service. The company has five white vans, three green vans, and two black vans. Each morning, you take a set of keys at random. On the scale below, Put an X to indicate the probability that the keys you take will be for a black van. So there are 5 and 3 and 2, which is 10 total. We're interested on the black vans. So there are 2 black vans. So probability of you picking the keys of a black van is 2 tenths. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 divisions. So we're going to stop at 2. There is 1, 2 here. 2 tens is represented at that point, which is the same as 0 0.2 or 20%. Bruce has 20 t-shirts. One-fifth of them are white. Bruce chooses one at random. Draw an arrow on the scale to show the probability that Bruce picks a t-shirt that is not white. So he has 20 t-shirts in total. One-fifth of them are white. So how many are white? So that's 20 in total. One-fifth, that will be four in each of these. 20 divided by 5 is 4, so 1 is equal to 4. So 4 out of the 20 are white. How many of them are not white? That is going to be 16 out of the 20. So how do we show that within the scale? The scale has 10 equal divisions. So we're going to say out of 10. 20 
divided by 2 gives us 10. So we'll do the same to the 16. So 16 divided by 2 gives us 8. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, it says arrow in fact, so I'm just going to do an arrow. So that's the same as 0.8 or 80%. We now move into the calculator questions. The probability that a visitor buys a soft drink at the show is three quarters. Which of these describes this probability? Impossible, unlikely, even chance, likely, certain. So this is like the first question that we looked at. So 0 to 1, that will be half. This will be, so we have likely here. Natalie knows that only 60% of the children can write their name. She chooses one of the children at random to work with. On the scale, mark the probability that this child can write their name. So that is 60% probability 60 percent that is 60 out of 100 and that is also 6 out of 10 so we're going 1 2 3 4 5 6 Chester buys a pack of sandpaper sheets with a mixture of grades. The pack contains 12 coarse grade, 7 medium grade and 1 fine grade sheets. Chester takes one sheet out at random. What is the probability that the sheet Chester picks is medium grade? Mark the probability on the scale below. So 7 of them are medium grade out of the total, which is 7 and 12 and the 1. So that is 20 in total. We've got 10 divisions within the scale. So we're going to express this out of 10. So 20 divided by 2 gives us 10. 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. So 1, 2, 3 and a half which is the same as 0 0.35 or 35%. Absol is a member of the community group. On a Saturday, he either packs shopping bags or he takes part in another activity. The table shows the probability of him taking part in each activity. Which activity is Abdul most likely to take part in? Explain how you decide. So, the activity with the highest probability will be the activity that he is most likely to take part in. So we've got backpacking 0 0.35, football 0 0.50, computer games 0 0.11 and shopping 0 0.04. The highest of these decimals is 0 0.50 which is half or 50% so we're going to say Football as it has the highest probability. When Joe gets a free drink, he puts some money in one of the four charity boxes by the till. The table shows the probability that he puts money in each box. Which charity is Joe most likely to donate money to? Give a reason for your answer. So we have Save the Waiter with 0 0.25 probability, Think Pink 0 0.3, Open Line 0 0.4, The Arbitrus 0 0.05. The highest decimal, the greatest decimal here is 0. 4, so we're going to say open 
line. Zero point four is the greatest decimal showing the highest probability. There is an even chance that the next visit to the finance web page is made by a female student. Mark this probability on the probability scale below. Even chance that is 50-50. So that's bang on 50% or 0 0.5. So that will be right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of the 10. Climate change increases the probability of flooding in some areas. The probability of town A being flooded in the next 50 years is one tenth. The probability of town B being flooded in the next 50 years is one fifth. The probability of town C being flooded in the next 50 years is one third. Which town is the most likely to be flooded in the next 50 years? So we're looking for the highest fraction, the greatest fraction, which shows the highest probability. So that is one third. So that will be town C. So don't forget that when it comes to fractions, the smaller that bottom number, the denominator, the greater the fraction. It represents more. So like here, one out of the three is greater than one out of the five and definitely greater than one tenth. Mark the probability of town A being flooded in the next 50 years on the probability scale below. So town A has the probability of one tenth We've got how many divisions here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 1 tenth we're going to represent out of 20. So we've doubled the 10, so we're going to double the 1 as well to give us 2. So there is 1, 2. A workplace gives one raffle ticket to its workers for each sales target that they meet. Each month one ticket is drawn at random for a prize. The chart shows the number of sales targets met by each worker. What is the probability that Jim will win the April draw? Complete the probability diagram below to show your answer. So Jim has five tickets out of the total which is 5 add 2 add 7 add 6 which is 20 so 5 out of 20 there is 0 and 1 so 5 out of 20 is a quarter. So dividing 5 by 5 gives us 1. Dividing 20 by 5 gives us 4. So this is halfway through 0 0.5 or half. And this will be 0 0.25 or a quarter. Ryan's team are playing a match on Saturday. The table below shows the predicted chance of rainfall on a scale of 0 to 1 from Monday to Saturday. Ryan thinks it's unlikely to rain on Saturday. Is Ryan correct? Explain why you think this. Write your answer in the box.
So it's Saturday, we're interested in. Saturday, predicted chance of rainfall is 0 0.88. 0.88 that shows a very high chance of it raining so if you think of 0 to 1 0 0.88 is probably going to be around here roughly so it's quite close to to 1 so to answer the question is Ryan correct we're going to say no because it is likely that it will rain on Saturday. This fair six-sided spinner is spun once. Draw an arrow on a scale to show the probability of landing on an odd number. How many odd numbers do we have on the spinner? We've got three, three, one, and three. So that is four of them. Out of the total, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. So four out of six, or four, six. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six divisions on the scale. So we're going to stop at four, which is this point here. And that's the end of the questions.